Yo, what's going on, y'all? My name is Thunder, and I don't know if y'all remember me because I've been gone for so long. But I might actually cry making this video, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, YouTube finally unbanned me. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. A week ago, I didn't think I'd be here today, and I am. <sighs> I've told the story several times about what I thought was going to happen to me yesterday and the day before that, and the story seemingly has not changed yet. Um, my cycle is just different now, and my schedule is shifted. Um, the same procedure is still yet to happen. It's just going to happen on another day, and that's saving me a couple of months at least. Um, so that'll run me probably through midway of uh, ninth grade. <laughs> I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all my supporters who reached out to YouTube over the last week considering my ban. Um, it was a quite uncalled for situation. I received a notice from YouTube the first day that I had violated several terms of services, which I was not aware of. Um, the scam and deceptive practices, I wasn't aware that that was a thing. Um, I tried my best to get it through YouTube that I was kind of unaware of that, and they didn't really seem to buy it very much. Um, as per usual, they don't buy anything. Then I had to fire my lawyer. Um, then I had to fire my management. Then I had to fire a whole lot of people, and I think if you've been working for me, most of you have been fired and there's a simple reason for it i need to rebuild this place and it's because of these people that my channel went under it's it's because of these people it's not because of youtube at all um i'm looking at the reasons and it's because of my thumbnail editor it's because of the people that edit my content it's because of the people that coordinate my streams it's because of my producer it's because of my manager it's because of the people that work around me and i'm a lot of this is to blame on me too because I was not evaluating the situation properly um, as I should have been because obviously I am the one monitoring every single event that occurs here, especially me being an executive producer. Um, I work hard around the clock every single day um, to produce content that I think my viewers will enjoy. And whether that means I do need to cut corners with a few things, I will. Um, my editing quality has significantly increased over the last couple of months and I noticed that myself people have reached out to me and said that I'm doing a way better job than I'm doing in the past um, I'm also way more attractive than I was eight months ago so I think that's kind of buying into my views I mean it's a possibility um, and then I hired a lot of new people um, the last Saturday I, hi I fired I think almost 186 staff members and that is the highest i have ever fired before that is really an unreasonable amount and i think that i did mess up a little bit but i fired everybody i wanted to fire um the whole list is not available anymore because i've decided to take it off the air every single person that's been fired you've been emailed and you've been contacted by my, either my current manager or my intern manager depending on when this video gets uploaded whether or not I have a new manager whether or not I'm still sticking with the person who's currently working with me um, but I'm gonna talk about what's currently going on with my former manager so I make money off this place and I'm not making actual ad revenue because I'm not able to make it but I'm making money from sponsors like Rogue Energy you know Streamlabs etc and Streamlabs has just terminate my contract just so you know and um, <sighs> turns out that my manager from before she stole um, almost $355 from me. And that was possibly the most disheartening thing I've ever been told. Um, how did I find out? Well, my lawyer pulled a whole bunch of information from her wallet, um, a whole bunch of information from Western Union, a whole bunch of information from TD Bank, a whole bunch of information from all these different banks around the country um, because she doesn't live here. And I kind of caught on to her little plan a couple of days ago. Um, I had actually asked my, uh, my, asked my lawyer to investigate it because I thought that I was getting scammed by her, um, but it turns out she was kind of scanning, like, everybody else. She wasn't really scanning me. Um, so I decided I'm gonna hit her with a fire, and I'm also gonna hit her with a lawsuit. So, my money doesn't get paid in 65 days, we're going to court with this. And obviously, it's not a Supreme Court matter, um, it's not gonna be nationally televised, you know, like in the, uh, you know, the, uh, big Amber Heard trials, you know, it's not going to be Johnny Depp related, but um, it's, it's going to be, you know, big enough for me to be able to document it myself. Um, 
Besides that, I've been filming videos so much later in the day, which I think is really good for me because I'm able to kind of talk a little bit louder, per I say, because I can't freaking raise a notion in this house when it is like, you know, when it's 10 o'clock in the morning and not everybody's left the house yet, you know. I can't really film videos at 7 o'clock when my brother's still here, you know, because my brother's got to go to summer camp. So, I, you know, I can't. I can't sit here and record a video when my boy's about to leave the you know about to leave the house. I also cannot record videos when I'm receiving snaps from 50 different people. I cannot record videos when I'm receiving a whole lot of messages because then I just can't concentrate. And especially when I'm waiting on a message, I just cannot concentrate. So I decided to film videos around you know 10, 11 o'clock at night when I have a lot more a lot more free time on my hand. But the schedule is going to change, and I'm aware of it. School starts again next month for me. It's currently August 1st, so school starts, I think, September 9th-ish. Um, maybe a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit later. I'm not really too sure. Um, my schedule is more or less going to change around the 15th. I'm probably just going to alter a lot of things and see where I go with that. But on the first day of September, a lot of things are going to change. My content manager is actually resigning on the 1st of September, which I am aware of. He's already given me his full agreement. I'm fine with it. He can resign, and we're going to find someone else. Um, I fully respect his decision. I'm not going to ask any questions. I know he's been going through a hard time. I'm going to let him go through it, and I'm going to give him all the help and support he needs, get him out the door, and do whatever he can you got to remember that this Thunder Corporation is not very large. We're currently working with about 100 to 200 different people from all around the globe. I've got a lot of people working from Europe. I've got people working from Germany, Estonia. I've got people working all over the world. And this is incredibly deceptive um, towards my current manager, who's currently stemmed out of Germany right now, um, who's been helping me a lot. Um, the good thing about him is he works a little bit later in the day as well. So, you know, I can sit here, you know, around 8 o'clock in the morning and it'll be, you know, you know 3 p.m. for him. And I can even sit here at 11 and it'll be almost time for him to wake up. So, you know, times are good when you've got someone that far away from you. I've also been thinking about getting a manager from Australia, possibly, where I can get someone about like 12 hours ahead um, so we can get things quick, you know, get things going a little bit quicker. We're all kind of awake at the same time. Uh, you know, get things going a little bit quicker. I just don't really want a manager from the United States because I don't know their current schedule, especially since the United States is literally the most busy country in the world. Um, I don't exactly, you know, want a manager who's living in New York City who can't really get things together for a good month and a half. Um, but yeah, what's the main reason I made this video? Well, I don't really know. I think the main reason I made this video was just to kind of get through to me that I'm different, and I'm different than the rest of the people, and I know that. And... My main goal today is to get across that I'm back, and I am, I think I'm good for good. Um, YouTube has gotten every request from me, and they have every right to stormingly ban me again if I do anything wrong. That is 100% within their authority. However, I did not do anything wrong. That is not putting them within their authority. If this happens again where it's not within their authority, my legal team will take action. I do not have remorse against YouTube this time around. So what am I going to do? Um, I think I'm probably going to call my agent and see where we're going to go with this, but things are currently trending up in the right direction. I've got a lot of people working with me. A lot of my moderators did get fired recently, and I'm very, very sorry. If you get onto YouTube in a few days and you don't see your symbol, I really do apologize, and I'm sorry that my team did not reach out to you. That is their fault for not reaching out. <sighs> Besides the point, though, I'm back. Um, my health is a lot better than it was last week. That medicine is really a game changer. I really do thank God, um, you know, and everybody out there who's been uh, looking out for me. And I thank you guys. I think everybody I've been talking to the last few days, you guys have really been helping me. People that have contacted me, people that are assisting me with a lot of things. And, I, you know, I think my friends, my family, my best friends on Snapchat, my whole entire best friends list, everybody who's involved with me, everybody who's talked to me over the last week, I really do appreciate everybody who reaches out and, you know, brings a new light to me um will my situation be the same next year i don't know and that's not something i'm looking forward to so all i can do now is look a couple weeks in the future see where i'm headed with that just get things going i have four videos on standby they will be out soon uh, i gotta get my editor to just really get on them pretty quick um we have them edited we just gotta get them out and uh produced and everything but that's besides the point. Have, have yourselves a fantastic day. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, join up. 1 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, join up. I'll see you all soon. Have a fantastic night. My name is Thunder. Peace out.